Tomorrow on Speed NASCAR Race Day heads to Talladega, where only one free race show can handle the high banks. Will the big one claim the big dreams of the championship contenders? NASCAR Race Day, built by the Home Depot. Live coverage begins tomorrow, 11 Eastern. You know who Wendy's going to have as a real deal interview? I do not. You know, Mike? Um, no. Bobby Allison. Yeah, I heard oh, that. Yeah. I knew I knew, but I couldn't remember. You know who's going to be on trackside next week? Who? Jessica Simpson. Really? On speed. That Jessica Simpson. Very on cool. Adam Alexander. Great to have Mike Wallace in the field today, starting 10th, but he's dropped outside the top 20. And the reason is he hit the debris that caused this caution. He was upset with himself, apologized to the crew. He said the tires seemed to be fine. They looked at the truck when he went by the start finish line on pit road. They said it looks good. And the report from the spotter stand positive as well. So he thinks he's okay, just the loss of track position. We will keep an eye on the nine truck when we get the green flag. Krista? Joey Logano is just sort of letting things sink in right now. Remember, this is his very first truck start. The first time he raced at Talladega was yesterday in the ARCA race. And we talked about his young age. He almost won that ARCA race. He finished second. And I said, well, you've got to be happy with that, right? He said, nope, I want more. Well, he's about to get more. And let's see if he can handle it. Actually, this is probably one of the toughest tests he'll face in his Green young flag. career. Green flag, Green flag back in the side. air. It's still Eric Darnell in front of his teammate, Colin Brown. This is good for these guys, you know, Phil. They, they ran a half a lap. They had already gotten three wide because they started side by side. That pokes a bigger hole in the air. Now they're single file. Maybe it'll be a bit of a calmer restart than it was a start. What do you think? I, well, I hope so. Here, here are a couple Fords out front here, a couple teammates, Eric Darnell and Colin Brown. Then they've got Todd Bodine and Rick Ron Hornaday right behind them. And look, everyone hugs that yellow line. Everybody wants to get down to the bottom. And who's going to be the first guy to step out? And, and I want to tell you, that's the plan. And people say, let's guard that yellow line. That's a great plan, but you can't use that as your sole option. You have to be willing and ready to jump out to the outside if you want to win this race. If you just say, I'm going to hang on the yellow line, you'll never win. That's right. Here it looks like maybe Brendan gone, maybe on the outside. Somebody's going to go up there. Testing that second line. We see Kyle Busch. He peeks the nose of that number 51. Toyota Tundra out from behind the 22 to see if he can get a look. And remember, we talked earlier. Right now, if, if Scott Speed or Kyle Busch was to pull out and it doesn't work, the race is not over for them. No. He's going to the back, and, and I but he'll come back up to the front. I encourage, you know, any of the young drivers that ask me, make your mistakes early. Figure out if you can indeed make that move. And when you can't make it, it'll make you smarter later in the race. So a little bit of experimenting in the early going is not a bad thing. Looks like that may be Mike Wallace. Yep. Right behind Brendan gone. See Terry Cook, the Wilder.com Toyota, jumps up in front of Brendan. That outside line is back about 20th, but they're making some headway, it looks like. And guys, you know what's cool? When we were just listening right there to Kyle Busch's truck, we could hear the RPMs increase right when those trucks started to move in that high line. And there you see Joey Logano said, oh, I like this. I like what's going on behind me here. Let me get a feel for this. He pulls up to the outside, sort of slows Johnny Benson's momentum. He had to block Johnny a little bit, and now he's up a little bit higher than he needs to be. So Johnny's thinking, I would have just soon you stay down there in line, son. <laughs> I don't mind you learning, but learn, don't learn in front of me. Yeah, learn right behind me. Now that second line trying to move on the inside line. We're seeing more trucks moving out there into that second line. And see these guys in the second line right here on the outside line. One of those guys is going to say, I've got to run on the guy leading that or whatever, and I'm going to pull to the outside. We're going to make it three wide here. That will happen. You see, and right now, Johnny's Johnny's probably kind of hoping, yeah, he's pulling out to get around Logano. He didn't like the way he was going about things. He was probably hoping that Joey would have tucked over closer to those inside line trucks, side drafting, kind of causing them to lose their momentum while propelling that outside line alone. Just like Johnny, Johnny's doing right now. He's got Terry Cook right behind him. You see, he pulls down to, next to that truck, and that really hurts the momentum of the truck on the inside. And, and I don't think Johnny liked what he was seeing out of Joey, so he said, I better show you how to do this. So Joey's learning. We haven't seen Alf yet, but I learn, <laughs> learn by fire in a situation here in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series. But you see this big move, it looks like, with Kyle Busch, Listen to him playing with the gas, though. That's what that's what's interesting. You know, you've got this big line on the outside rolling along, making headway, but they can't stay wide open in the gas because of all the jumbling that's going on. Adam Alexander. And the best way to get an education is follow someone around who knows how to get it done. Kyle 
Kyle Busch won the race here in the spring in the Sprint Cup Series. And the man right behind him, John West Townley. You're right on board with Townley right here. A moment ago, Busch looked to go to the high groove. They said, do not follow him there. So they're trying to keep John West Townley in the low lane. But guys, Chad Knauss, Chad, Chad Norris, not Chad Knauss, his crew chief, is doing a nice job of coaching this youngster on the radio. He started on the front row here at Talladega this afternoon. The bottom here, you see it. There you go. See a couple go slow outside. trucks coming off the racetrack on the inside. And that's, you know, like I said earlier, uh, coaching your young guy to stay on the bottom, that's okay, that's safe, but you'll never win like that, and you won't learn as much as if you'll take a chance and go up and get in that outside line. And see what happens. And maybe the 0-9 of John West Allen, maybe their goal is just to finish in the top. End. He's 18 years old. They're not thinking win right now. Get some experience, try to be there at the end. Mike Skinner made the move up into that second line, and it looked as though the second line was moving. And now they've stalled out just a bit, and the bottom line continues to pull away. Saw well, Dennis Setzer dip down below the yellow line for just a moment. Yeah, that 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 uh, outside line is sort of falling apart a little bit, Rick. Good call. They've they've lost all their momentum and can't seem to keep the pace. Now Eric Darnell's out in front of this pack. Is he watching his mirror the whole time, or is he just saying, "Okay, I've got to stay right on the bottom of the track"? No, that's what you have to in order to win a restricted plate race. You have to be equally as comfortable in driving your truck while looking backwards. You have to understand what's going on around you at all times. So he is totally driving that truck. Hopefully it's handling well enough to where he can just drive it uh, and not worry about the handling of it and keep his eyes peeled in that mirror. He needs to understand what's happening with Skinner leading that outside row. He needs to make sure he understands how far that second place truck of Colin Brown is off his bumper. He's got to know what's going to happen next. He's got to anticipate those things and you can only do that by looking from behind. Watch this now. On the right hand side, that's a little bit of bump drafting. In the driver's meeting, they said, please don't do any bump drafting. Well, there's a little bit of a bump drafting right there. And then we had a close call a minute ago. Remember, I said Dennis Setzer dipped down below the yellow line. So that was because there was some contact with a seven of TJ Bell. Now, TJ's voice just went up about four octaves right there. He's, <laughs> no, this, you can't go up anymore. It was already up there, but it might have gone up just a little bit higher. Now, that bump drafting was between teammates. That was Mike Skinner and but Johnny that, Benson. That was perfect bump drafting. That was Johnny just giving Mike a little nudge, just helping him along. These bumpers don't match up, Phil. That's why NASCAR says don't bump draft. The front bumper on a, on a truck is lower than the tailgate. So if you start hitting each other, it's going to spin you out. That's what they've done with the new car you'll see racing here in Talladega tomorrow. They've tried to match the front and rear bumpers together. These cars tomorrow, you'll see pushing each other all the way around the track. It's not that these guys don't know how to do that. It just won't work with these trucks. X-Ray, what have you got? Johnny Benson said, can I get in front of Mike Skinner? They said, we'll try to work it out on the radio. He said, I believe that the 23 truck will be faster if we're leading. He was going to swap spots with Skinner, but check it out. The whole line goes by. Skinner hung on the high side. He's lost at least five spots. Skinner was trying to help out his teammate. Looks like he's going to lose at least 10 positions. Yeah, that was a situation. There was no way that no. Mike was going to be able to get in line behind Johnny. That was probably an ill-formed strategy right there. Well, I don't even think that is strategy. Mike's smart enough to know that ain't going to work. <laughs> he just he rolled out of the gas and said, well, I can't make any progress here. I might just fall to the back and watch you guys try for a while. See if Johnny Benson can make the move, make that second line go a little bit quicker up on the high side of Talladega. We'll be back for more Green Flag Racing right after this.